But that reminds me of, you know, when I shot 59 in, in Phoenix in 2001, March 16. Not that I remember, but, uh, you know, it was just one of those days. And uh, I started on the back nine. I had a morning tea time, and it was a par five. Uh, is anybody from Phoenix here? Okay. Have you played Moon Valley? Actually, no. No? Well, it's a great golf course. It's pretty easy. I know, just kidding. <laughs> that, that day it was. Uh, but it's a par five, a little dog leg, par five. Hit a good drive, hit the fairway, and then I hit the green, and then I made the putt. So I thought, oh, this is a good day. And then I went to the second hole, par three, and I, and I uh, made birdie there. Well, I made four birdies in a row, and, and I'm, you know, you start to think a little bit that, wow, this could be a special day. So I remember turning to my caddy, and I, and I told him, how many birdies in a row have you seen? And he said, I've seen four. And I said, well, I've made six birdies in a row before, so I know I can do it. So I end up birding uh, number five, number six, and then seven, and then number eight. So now I'm standing on, number, on the ninth tee, and I'm eight under par. And you can imagine, talk about being nervous. I mean, talk about sweaty palms and just, you know, really feeling it. And I remember turning to my caddy, and I, I don't know why I did it, but I did at the time, and I said, I am so nervous, I just have to make par now. <laughs> anyway, he said, okay. <laughs> so I hit the fairway in the green, and then I made par. And then I realized, why did I say that? <laughs> then I walked in on the 10th tee, which is number one on the course. And I remember telling my caddy, I'm ready for more birdies. And he said, OK. So I birdied number 10, 11, 12, and 13. <laughs> so now I'm 12 under after 13 holes. And now again, I start to think. You know, you start thinking ahead. Instead of what I said earlier, you got to play in the now. Like, the next tee shot is the most important. And then the second shot is the most important. So um, I did have a few birdie opportunities coming in. I birded my 17th hole. And uh, funny enough, I was playing with my sister also. Uh, of all the people you can be paired with, you know, out of 144 players, I was playing with, with Lotta that day. So it was very special. So I'm 13 under coming into the last hole. And now, you know, it's very hard to stop my thoughts, you know, in my mind. I'm thinking all kinds of things. Uh, but again, the adrenaline was pumping. I was hitting it so much further. So I took a club less, and I'm standing there as a par four, and um, I grabbed my uh, my 54 degree wedge because my yardage wise it was probably for a 48, but I was just I was pumping so much, and so I grabbed this, and my caddy said, "Just aim for the middle of the green," and I looked at him. I said, "I'm not aiming at the middle of the green. I haven't done that all day. I'm going for the flag." So hit it close to the flag. Had uh, about eight feet for birdie, and I remember walking up there and. And I looked at the scoreboard, and again, now I'm getting all these impressions from, from the outside, which we know it's better if you can just, you know, focus on what you got to do. But, you know, I stood there, and, and I knew that obviously it was going to be a big putt, and I almost made it. This went on the left side, and then I had a three-footer. At least that's what I keep saying. If you watch on TV, it's probably just like this, but it felt like it was so long. It was the longest three-footer I've ever had. And I stood over that, and I thought, you know, if you, if you miss this, it's a great round, 60, with my lowest ever. But if you make it, it's, you know, history for women's golf. And, and can you imagine how nervous I was just for this? I mean, how many three-footers have we made in our lives? I mean, so many. And I just said, again, the ball doesn't know what's going in for us. I just trust it. It's done over then just trust it. And then, and then went in, yeah. And, um, and I didn't really know how to celebrate. I look at now, and I'm jumping around and in my caddy arm. But... <laughs> That was not my yes move, but, um, but it was, you know, looking back at that round, again, when I talked about the vision, you know, see it in your mind. I mean, I have seen a 54 in my mind. This wasn't 54, but it certainly was close to it.